Right now, it's time to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. New York's Daily News says during the Cold War, people in Alaska were secretly trained by the FBI. They learned about spying and code breaking. The project's name, Washed Up. America feared a Russian invasion of the 49th state. The Wall Street Journal reports on one of the richest shoe contracts ever. The Oklahoma City Thunder's Kevin Durant agreed to remain with Nike. A source tells the Journal that the New Deal could be worth $350 million over 20 years. Durant is the NBA's reigning MVP. Nike's rival Under Armour aggressively courted Durant this summer. The Washington Post says a Japanese high school baseball game went into extra, extra, extra innings. The game started Thursday and ended on Sunday morning after 50 innings. The teams were limited to 15 innings per day. Even more amazing, both starting pitchers went the distance. One threw 709 pitches, the other 689. The team from Chukyo finally scored in the top of the 50th to win three zip. Those are some sore arms. Yeah, they need some big ice buckets. Louisville's Courier Journal says a sinkhole inside the National Corvette Museum will not be a permanent attraction. We showed it to you in February when the 30 foot deep sinkhole swallowed eight sports cars. Ever since the hole has become a tourist attraction all its own, the museum board considered preserving a section of the cave in for posterity, but safety features would make that too expensive. The Times of London says Princess Diana's wedding dress will be given to her sons. Diana wore the white gown when she married Prince Charles in 1981. Her brother kept it since her death in 1997. Diana's will states her belongings can go to her two sons when they both turn 30. Prince William already hit that milestone while Prince Harry turns 30 in two weeks.